<laughs> Santa's made his list and he's checked it twice. I know if you've been naughty or nice. <laughs> and if you know a good boy or girl deserves an off-road gift, well, Tony and Josh has something in store for you. Yes, we do. Every year, the XJ Talk Show picks out a few gifts for your guys' buying list, your shopping list, as it were. We uh, pick a few off-road gifts to share with you guys, and Tony and I each grab a few of them off of our list uh, that you can get through Amazon. The reason why we picked Amazon is because the XJ Talk Show and Amazon.com have a great little relationship set up, and we encourage you guys to do all of your online holiday shopping through Amazon.com, but we ask that you click on our banner there at the homepage on xjtalkshow.com or xjtalk.com. It's a great way for you guys to support the XJ Talk Show and help us keep the lights on here and, well, of course, spread the Christmas spirit. And how it works is Amazon has agreed to give us a small little kickback of everything that you purchase, but you have to click through that link first. Now, you guys aren't going to pay a single red cent more, not a dime more. They don't do the markup or anything like that. You guys still get the great selection and, of course, the great prices that you find on Amazon.com. But Amazon agrees to give us a small little kickback, and it's a great way for you guys to support the show. So without further ado, we've got $20, $50, and $100 gift items and a special little prize right at the end. So stick around, guys, and uh, well, make sure you've got your list and you've checked it twice. We're going to go ahead and make sure we give you guys some Christmas presents to think about for the Jeeper or the off-road enthusiast in your life. You know, Josh, I love doing this every year, and uh, you know, strange as it is, uh, we actually thought about it before Christmas Day, so we're getting this thing out in, in plenty of time for people to go over to Amazon or really wherever you want to buy uh, buy these products. Uh, but uh, we we would like the uh, the the old, the old Amazon uh, few, few few cents that we get out of those purchases, if you don't mind. So uh, we're going to start with the uh, twenty dollar. We're going to do twenty dollar, fifty dollar, one hundred, and I, I don't know what we call it, amazing or something. Yeah. If, <laughs> something that for somebody that saved your life or got you out of jail <laughs> if you've been a really good jeeper this year then uh, you're gonna head you're gonna want that underneath your tree let's just face it anybody with an off-road vehicle is gonna want one of these things underneath the tree so um that'll be at the end so stay tuned for that but we're gonna start off with a small and these are you know not quite stocking stuffers but in that sort of price range you know maybe it might be a white elephant gift or uh maybe just uh, working on a budget this year the 20 dollar or under gifts are going to be just that and they're definitely functional and something that any off-roader in your life could use. Now, let me start with this. Now, this isn't going to be an awful exciting thing, but you bear with me and I think you get the gist of why it is important. This is a Roadblock RC815 rubber wheel chalk with void bottom. It's black, it's 10 inches in length, uh, 8 inches wide and 6 inches high. That's really important for the large tires that we run on our Jeeps. Uh, this is well under $20 over at Amazon.com. Now, there are a few things that are more basic than a wheel chalk. What the hell is a chalk? <laughs> it's something that every Jeep owner needs and is the primary safety device necessary when working on the Jeep. It can be used on any vehicle your gift receiver works on and will give you the peace of mind that you can walk out in the garage and say, hey, where's that chalk thing I got you for Christmas? <laughs> Safety, peace of mind, and something uh, for all Jeeps under $20 at Amazon.com. And you can check out all these items on our site, xjtalk.com slash Christmas. That's right. That link will take you right to all the items that we're talking about. And you guys can see the pictures, see the prices, and of course, links that will take you over um, to the item themselves. But please make sure you click on our Amazon banner before you click on those other links and that way it'll set you up with uh, with uh, making sure we get some credit for it. Now my $20 item or less is actually about 16 bucks and it's from Terraflex. It's a name that's uh, very synonymous with off-roading and of course the, the Jeep lifestyle. Um, now what these are are the Terraflex 4937330 control arm skid plate. Now the control arm is what connects the axle to the Jeep body itself and well keeps things in line as the suspension moves the axle up and down. Uh, and what these are is the the control arm mounts on the axle of our you know stock Dana 30s. Um, they're just stamped sheet metal, not really a whole lot. And once you start getting into some more serious off-roading, uh, there's a good chance that as you go over obstacles, rocks and, and stumps and things like that, the control arms do on occasion tend to get hung up a little bit and uh, well these things protect them from getting folded over now i've got some pictures on xjtalk.com of the way that my control arm uh, mounts on the axles were well let's just say pretty much folded flat over and uh, they were in in almost at risk of breaking off 
these things will reinforce them because it takes the sheet metal and uh, and turns it into basically quarter inch steel. It reinforces the whole front end and boxes the front end of those control arm mounts and makes it a true skid plate. And these things are worth their weight in gold, trust me. If you've got an extreme wheeler in your life, uh, these are definitely something that they are going to appreciate and make use of. Now, these aren't a bolt-on. These are a weld-on item, so you're going to need to take them down to an exhaust shop or a fabrication shop or something like that. Or if you know somebody who's a welder, uh, then you can just have them tacked on. Not a big, huge, high skill level in needing these things. If you can put two pieces of metal together, then you can put these things on your Jeep, and they will come in handy. Trust me, you guys are going to want these. So jumping to the $50 level, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. I'm just going to spell it A-F-U-N-T-A. Josh, sure. what do you think? They're putting the fun in a Funta. <laughs> yeah, a Funta is what I was thinking. This is a 7-inch TFT color LCD car rear view camera monitor. Now, does your Jeep buddy have a lifted Jeep, badass off-road bumper, and spare tire carrier on the back? <laughs> what more could they want back there? Well, probably the ability to see behind them. <laughs> now they can see better when backing up than they could when their Jeep was stock with this backup camera and internal monitor combo. A great gift for under $50 and Amazon.com and check out xjtalk.com slash Christmas and just click the link there to make your purchase. That is a really cool item that it actually not only comes with the camera, but also a screen combo as well. So this is basically an all-in-one, guys. That means you guys can get the, uh, the rear view, as it were, uh, from the front of the Jeep, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, once you once you start putting a rear tire carrier, and maybe you got a you know a cargo uh, rack in the back or something like that, you fill up your back end with gear. I mean, it really, it's hard to see out the back of the Jeep, especially if you're you know on an incline or something like that. Something like this is definitely going to help you guys out, and uh, well, keep your passenger in the seat and not outside in the elements, being a spotter for you when it comes comes time to back up over an obstacle. Yep, and they do make uh, other. We don't always have real estate on, on, on our dash or under our dash or on the dash in our Cherokees. So they do make um, DVD-capable um, radio receiver uh, combos and actually a small screen embedded in the, uh, the, uh, the single DIN version of the, of the radio. Mm -hmm. And you can actually use the camera with this with, the, with a multitude of screens. You don't have to use this screen. That's so, right. Uh, if you find that, you, or maybe you already have one of these, maybe you go over to Amazon and just buy a backup camera uh, for actually much less than this. But uh, this is a full uh, one-piece unit. Uh, they you, you, person installs it, and now they can see out the back. So, and I'll, I'll tell you a little tip. I think they have you hook it up to the reverse in some manner, so it only comes on when reverse uh, when you have the the vehicle in reverse. Well, you don't have to hook that up. You can just have it on all the time. Just ground, just ground that wire. You'll be good to go. Hey, and if you know somebody with a tow, tr uh, tow truck, a, a tow rig, and a trailer, if they if they oh, tow yeah. Jeep, they tow their Jeep to the trails and stuff, this is a perfect addition to somebody's tow rig. So you know they got that big diesel truck in there. They got the uh, 16 foot flatbed trailer, the car hauler back there. This would be a perfect item for that truck. Now, I've got one here for you that just about anybody is going to love. Now, you wouldn't want to put one of these on your Honda, but my $50 gift is an X, XC Source 2x18 watt Cree LED work light. That's right, the LED off-road lights. They call them work lights. I have no idea why. <laughs> this is a flood beam pattern, and it's the LD189B. And this has the 18 watt Cree LEDs. There's two rows, and these things are cool. Any off-roader, any Jeep owner, Heck, anybody with a lifted truck or that likes cool stuff is going to very much appreciate and love these LED off-road lights. This is all the rage, guys. This is state-of-the-art technology. The prices are coming down, and you can get two of these lights. That's right, two of these lights. Each one comes with six, uh, six three-watt Cree LEDs. You get the 18 watts and roughly about 1,800 lumens. That's a lot of light getting shine out of these things. 6,500 Kelvin is the color temperature, so it's a really true bright white light. None of that crazy yellow or blue or anything like that. And these have over a 50,000 work hour lifespan on these things. Basically, these are going to outlive your Jeep. And they're only $48 and come with free shipping. So less than 50 bucks, you're going to get a prize that anybody's going to go bananas over unwrapping this gift from underneath the tree. And I'll just add, for that much light, the current draw is significantly less than what it be, would be for an incandescent like the, the KCs or the Hellas or any of that stuff. And it, it, they're so bright. So 
Uh, you can even leave these things on for a while and still start your Jeep. So uh, very impressive. Yeah. So, so moving in, uh, moving on to the one hundred dollar level. Now, chances are good that your uh, off road buddy, uh, or spouse, or whatever already has one of these. But if they don't, they need one. This is the high lift jack. It's the HL 485 48 inch uh, red, of course, uh, mm-hmm. all cast jack. And this is well under a hundred dollars, like around eighty dollars and forty three cents currently. So, um, okay, boys and girls, if your Jeep buddy doesn't already have one of these, they need it, especially if they have a lifted Jeep. This little gem allows you to quickly raise your Jeep, get a tire changed, a bead reset, or get something under the tire for better traction. You can even use this to pull your Jeep out. That's right. At only $80, you even have room for an accessory. Well, maybe <laughs> if it's a high lift accessory, because those things are kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the uh, you know for for this three dollars more you can get the sixty inch version and uh, for just a dollar over a one our one hundred dollar limit you can get the high lift jack extreme version and if you're an Amazon Prime member you can get this heavy jack shipping for free don't have a pencil ready no worries just go to xjtalk.com/christmas and you can see all of these items we've talked about today just click on the link and purchase when you do. You'll be helping out the XJ Talk Show with a few pennies from each purchase that you make. That's right, guys. And the High Lift Jack is the quintessential off-road accessory. Any Jeep that uh, is serious about having their recovery gear on board is going to want to have one of these things. And I, I know you guys have seen him driving around. You see the guy with the roof rack, and he's got every accessory and light combo up there. He's got you know a shovel and, a, and, a, and a, an axe and, and, of course, the High Lift Jack. Big, bright red, and High Lift is the brand. They've been doing this for a very, very long time. These things come with a great warranty, and frankly, they're built like a brick you-know-what house. And these things will last forever. Uh, great addition to any off-road vehicle. you got to have one of these. It's a High Lift jack. And less than 100 bucks, guys, uh, it's a good option. And, of course, something that any off-roader would love to have. Now, my $100 gift item is a little bit more, and it's still in the, um, uh, well, a little bit less than 100 bucks, and uh, is along the lines of recovery as well. And this is the Rugged Ridge Winch Recovery Gear Kit, and the, and the SKU on this is 15104.25. All of Rugged Ridge's uh, model numbers have that kind of format and stuff. But, um, yeah, write that number down. Of course, you can always head over to xjtalk.com slash Christmas, and you can find the link for this because this is an item that even if you don't have a tow strap, a winch, anything like that, this has so much stuff in it for the self-recovery. You guys definitely want to have one of these. And this is this is a safety item. So if you got somebody who's new to off-roading, a new Jeeper, uh, something like that, this has pretty much almost everything that you need in one kit, and it's less than 100 bucks. $91.99, $91.99 with free shipping. You don't even have to have Prime for that. 20,000 pound limit kit. That means this thing can pull out that Ford Super Duty that's stuck in the mud uh, and will have all the gear to do it. It's an eight piece kit. Comes with a gear bag. That's right, a bag, a very heavy duty canvas bag to, to, to carry everything in and keep it all stored up nice and pretty. Comes with a snatch block pulley, pretty much doubling the pull force of your winch. A recovery strap, a protector strap, like a, a tree strap. If you don't want to wrap a steel cable around a tree, you're going to end up screwing up the bark and, and cutting into that tree. And well, the tree huggers don't like that sort of thing. Also comes with two D rings, a line dampener, and leather gloves. Pretty much everything you need to get your rig or somebody else's unstuck. And everything in the bag comes with a limited five year warranty as well. Comes with everything you need except bad ideas, and you'll have to work on those yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's try this. Yeah, that sounds like uh, a great thing to have, and it's a, a wonderful thing to have uh, when you need it. Uh, don't put this off, guys. This is like uh, having toe points uh, on your uh, your Jeep before you go off-road. It's something that you really need to do because uh, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, this basic kit is a great thing to have, and uh, any Jeeper that doesn't already have someone like this would love to have it. It's, they've probably been putting off getting it because it's... Uh, it's not a real flashy thing to have. It just sits there in the back and waits patiently for when you need it. Yep, and when you do need it, you're going to be glad to have it. Look, I've got pretty much all of these items, but I've bought them all separately. And you know what? I probably paid at least yeah. double what I, what you can get all of this stuff for. And with the free shipping and less than 100 bucks, guys, this fits into just about everybody's budget. Yeah, I think I did the same thing, Josh. So we've got one item that, let's just say, you have been about as good as good can get. 
and um, you've got that person in your life that, well, they deserve something extra special. Sure, everybody gets socks and underwear for Christmas, but there's one thing that we're always looking for under the tree, and that's the big gift. Now, every kid in all of us uh, loves seeing the big box, the heavy items, stuff like that. Well, it doesn't get much bigger and heavier than this. And no, it's not a new Cherokee that we're going to ask for you guys to put underneath the tree. We're definitely not going to wish that on anybody. But this is something that just about any Jeeper and off-road enthusiast is going to want to have on the front of their vehicle. And I think that you know where I'm going with this. Just about any off-road show or event or stuff like that gives one of these away as the big grand prize. It's a winch, guys. And not just any winch, but a worn winch. Now, Warren is synonymous with winches. They've been doing this longer than anybody else. I think they're the ones that actually invented the winch. Now, they've been doing stuff for so long, they've got many models out there, and you ask any Jeeper what winch they would want on their Jeep, well, if they've got the money for it, then they're going to want a Warren winch. And this one is definitely one that comes with a fairly hefty price tag, but guys, you get what you pay for. This is about Warren's flagship winch model. It pretty much comes with all the bells and whistles. Uh, they do have one that has an air compressor built into it, but you know that, that's just a little bit more bell and whistle than we really need. If you guys want a serious winch that's going to get you out of any situation, let's say you want to climb a tree with your with your Jeep, <laughs> well, this thing can do it for you. It's the Warren 67600 9.5 SI self recovery winch. Comes with a price tag just under two grand. That's right, I said under two grand. The price tag is about nineteen hundred dollars in eighty in nineteen eighty eight, so about about, about two thousand dollars. We'll just call it that. This thing is basically the highest performance winch that you can get, and you get the worn reliability and a no compromise construction. Of course, worns all come with a lifetime warranty. Tony, what are some of the other uh, features that this thing uh, it comes with? Well, of course, you have to have a remote, and uh, it ha- comes with a twelve foot line because you want to make sure that you're. Uh, away from that winch line whenever you're uh, when you're pulling uh, now of course you can go with uh, synthetic line if you really want to uh, I personally Josh and I were talking about this last night and uh, we're kind of uh, cable uh, winch people metal cable winch people I mean I, I told Josh whenever the, the uh, tow truck drivers uh, start using synthetic line then I'll think about it <laughs> but right now I need something that works every time uh, it also comes with a uh, hundred foot of cable that's really important especially if you're uh, in areas where there's not a lot of trees or not a lot of places to uh, uh, to pull on to help pull yourself out of something. Of course, you should always wheel with a buddy, and that really helps uh, that uh, that situation whenever you're trying to find something to, to hook onto. comes with a roller fair lead. Um, it comes with uh, interesting uh, industry-leading technology for extreme sealing. Very important because you don't want to get all the nasty stuff that you're going through on the inside of your winch. And one of the things that uh, everybody knows about Warren is how reliable it is and how fast they are. If you're uh, on the trail and there's a long line of people waiting for you to winch yourself up this uh, this little ledge or whatever that everybody has to winch over, <laughs> having a slow winch, <laughs> having a, a 299 winch, is going to be a little embarrassing and a little frustrating for those folks waiting on you. So, you know, I always tell my, uh, tell my kids when they're driving, drive safely. Don't worry about the people behind you. And, and that's what I'll tell you about winching yourself up. Your safety and your vehicle safety is the most important. But if you want to spend the money so you can have a fast winch, you'll be up and out of the way and down the trail uh, faster than you would with one of the uh, more inexpensive winches. That's right. And of course, this is going to last pretty much a lifetime. And if it doesn't, well, Warren stands behind their their equipment. Guys, this is in the new Xeon series of winches. Nice black uh, coating on this, very rugged, very high durability. Uh, And it comes with all of their latest technology, a generation two series wound motor, uh, multiple planetary gears. Guys, this thing is awesome. It's about as bad as a winch gets, guys. Any Jeeper would love to have one of these on his rig. I mean, this is, this is what I would call this one my baby. I would be out there polishing it every night. I'd have a camera sitting on it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, stuff like that, guys. If you're looking for about as serious of a winch as it gets, this is the one. And, of course, with a 9,500-pound uh, pull rating, uh, it can pretty much pull just about any Jeep out of any situation, no matter what. Guys, this is the big gift. You got somebody special in your life, and they definitely deserve something like this. Um, if you want to buy them a winch, you're going to spend top dollar, but you're going to give be giving them about as top do- uh, top quality of a winch as they come. 
The Warren 67600 9.5 SI is the model number, 9.5 SI, Warren Winch. That is the one that guys are going to be wanting underneath their tree this year. Now, maybe you don't want to spend $2,000 uh, to buy a winch, and you certainly don't have to. Uh, Amazon.com has a whole line of Warren Winches over there, and uh, they they have a Super Winch. They even have the Smitty Built stuff. So uh, if you'd like to buy your uh, Jeep and Buddy a, a winch, you can do it. Just uh, go over there and look for any uh, winch that is, uh, but that will uh, uh, support 9,000 to 10,000 pounds. And uh, I personally would recommend uh, a super winch. Uh, that's what I have on my Jeep because uh, even though I wanted a warm, I didn't want to spend over a thousand dollars for it. So uh, the the winch that I the super winch that I purchased, they no longer uh, make. But uh, I believe you could probably find you a good super winch for around five hundred dollars. Josh, what would you recommend? Well, you know, I have uh, I wheel with a bunch of guys that, well, let's face it, they're on a budget. We all kind of sometimes live check to check and life comes up and gets in the places, uh, gets in the way of, uh, well, buying a $2,000 winch, as it were. There, Like Tony said, there are a lot of other options. And Warren even makes some great winches for under the $500 mark even. Now, let's say you're on a tighter budget than that. I've got a Smitty built winch on the front of mine. And I wheel with a bunch of guys that run these same winches, the XRC8. It's pretty much the industry standard as far as uh, budget winches mm-hmm. go. And they are very reliable. They have a decent line speed and they can pull like nobody's business. And, uh, and of course, there are a ton of accessories out there for them as well. They are a great performing, very long lasting winch as well. I've even I've used mine several times. In fact, I was out earlier today, earlier this morning, uh, before as we were recording this, and uh, out on a little bit of a run. Somebody got stuck. I had to hook up to them and pull out. And my uh, Smitty built XRC8 would did just fine pulling out that Cherokee on 35s out of a deep mud hole, and it was, didn't even face it, not one bit. So, guys, if you have somebody in your life that wants a winch, that needs a winch, or deserves a winch, there are options out there, and you don't have to spend two thousand dollars on it to get uh, get them a self recovery winch. Uh, you can head over to Amazon.com. You can head over to xjtalk.com slash Christmas. Check on these links. It'll take you to Amazon.com. And of course, uh, you guys can uh, do your shopping as you would. And you use any one of these items as a great idea, a good starting point. Of course, do your own shopping and, uh, and get your own ideas. We encourage you to do so. Guys, I hope this list has uh, helped you out. Um, and uh, well, you guys have uh, got a little bit of education out of it and get an idea as far as what other kind of, uh, of gifts and stuff there are out there for the off-roader in your life. Hey, you know, maybe none of this, this items on this list is uh, something that has uh, sparked your interest or your Jeeper uh, may already have all these items. And, and we're aware of that. Now, uh, I know that you women out there don't like buying gifts, gift cards because it's just not personal. Well, you can still go over to amazon.com and buy a gift card. They'll gift, gift wrap the card for you <laughs> and you can personalize it by putting something on there. And uh, maybe you got something from somebody that you weren't expecting and uh, you know they're a jeeper uh, and uh, you can actually go over there uh, New Year's Eve, I'm not sorry, not New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve or perhaps even Christmas Day and send them an Amazon gift card via email that they can use right when they get it. There's a little code on there that they'll use to go on Amazon and buy something. Now, I can't think of many things that a person can get uh, than uh, the, the gift of a gift card for guilt-free shopping. You know, if, you, right. if you give them money, they can say, oh, I need to put this towards the this bill or I need to put it towards this thing for the Jeep that, uh, you know, cause it's my daily driver or, you know, give them a gift card. They can say, wow, this is great. I can go online. I can find me something fun. I can put some, uh, a few dollars with it if necessary. And, uh, you know, you're, you're paying for the majority of that fun. So it's, it's two kinds of fun. It's the fun of buying something. It's the fun of uh, going online and shopping, which I think everybody, everybody likes doing. Yeah. Little, little retail therapy through the interwebs. And you can get it for any any price. You can even, uh, for the uh, the instant ones that go through the email, you can just pick a price. And if you really want to be funny, you can actually give it uh, uh, like uh, maybe $20 and one cents. $23 and 77 cents. You know, something weird and crazy like that just makes them go, huh? You can even, you can even post a picture on the card whenever they get it electronically and they see it. 
So there's a, a multitude of ways of, uh, of buying Jeepers gifts on Amazon.com. And we hope you uh, think about it and remember us whenever you're going to purchase something on Amazon.com. For these gifts, just go to xjtalk.com slash Christmas. And that way you don't have to remember all of this that we said. All you have to do is remember, yeah, I like that winch idea. Or, oh, those uh, those chalk blocks, uh, that sounds good. Maybe not that fancy. Uh, you know, Josh, I couldn't help but think how funny that would look in a stocking. Right. It'd be kind of uh, out of place, a little overstuffed. <laughs> and man, I doubt a thumbtack would be able to hold that. But in any case, guys, we encourage you to head over to xjtalk.com or xjtalkshow.com. Click on that Amazon banner and go ahead and do your Christmas shopping as you would. I know Black Friday and uh, Cyber Monday has already passed, but hey, everybody's got some last minute shopping to do. And this is going to help you guys out. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Amazon You Bought What for Christmas special bonus uh, segment. And, uh, well, Josh, we got a little something extra to tell them about, don't we? That's right, guys. We're going to stuff your stocking this year, and we've got something for you. Well, let's just call it our gift to you. On Christmas Day, guys, don't forget to check out our bonus Christmas special. That's right. It's a not a full XJ Talk Show podcast, but a little something extra we decided to put together for you guys just for the Christmas holiday. So Christmas Day, guys, you want to check it out. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, and uh, we have a little bit, a little teaser to give you now. So sit back. Uh, get you something ni- nice and warm, maybe an adult beverage, and listen. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the web, not a Cherokee was staring, not even on the walking dead. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Muddenrock would soon be there. The jeepers were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of lift kits danced in their heads. Your mother and her moo and I and my thong, we were just settling in to do something very wrong. When out on the lawn there arose such a kapak, I sprang from the bed to see what the f-